What's up guys, we are currently at the Caesars right now and we're about to go downstairs to celebrate our anniversary. We're going to Joe's Seafood to try some steak and stone crab. Supposedly that place is supposed to be pretty good. Let's go try it out. Are good. Um, very dim in here. Kind of gives me like 20s vibes, like um, like a speakeasy vibe. Yeah, like very classic. I like it. It's nice. All right, guys. So we just got here to Joe's Stone Crab Seafood and Prime Steaks. As the name implies, they specialize in prime steaks. Their Stone Crab. The original Joe's was originally from Florida, so they have the big, huge Florida Stone Crabs. I've actually been here a long time ago with my dad. And we got the dry aged prime rib. I still remember it. it was so good that I still remember it. That's how good it is. So we're in for a treat today. Since it's called Stone Crab Seafood and Prime Steaks, we gotta get one of everything. So we're not gonna let you guys down. We're gonna get some bomb food today. Let's do it. You know, my mom always says you gotta eat seafood with wine. So we got the Malbec on deck. Salud. Mm, crisp. So we got the jumbo shrimp here. All right here, this place is known for their seafood, and these shrimps are no joke, guys. Pretty jumbo. Got the cocktail sauce. Let's try it out. Maya really likes everything with limon. Makes it extra fresh. These look really fresh and jumbo. Really good. Really fresh, I like it. All right, cheers. Let's try this jumbo shrimp cocktail. Mm. Very meaty, fresh, cold. Serve on this bed of ice. Make sure it's fresh. No taste of fishiness at all. Super fresh. It's pretty sweet as well. But I got a little bit of that horseradish, so my eyes are watering a bit right now. But I love cocktail sauce, guys. Cheers. For the two of you to share. We have our medium stone crab claws as well. This is our famous mustard dipping sauce, one for each of you to dip the crab into. And then try the steak. If you need additional seasoning, this is our signature blend of salt, pepper, garlic, coriander, and shallots. that this is a finger food so don't be afraid to go ahead and just get your fingers dirty and crack it open and get the meat out so you don't really have to use this little fancy fork you can just use your fingers all right guys so we got the famous joe stone crab on deck surf and turf with the ribeye steak we got this medium this is just how i like my steak pink and warm in the center but yeah so let's try this stone crab guys we got the medium one they're not jumbo unfortunately but like I said, we're not too hungry, so let's try it out. For you Asian folks out there, I know you want me to dip this with a lemon, a salt, and pepper, which I probably would have asked for, but you know what? They gave us this signature mustard sauce right here. So we're just gonna use this nice and cold, like a jumbo shrimp. Let's try it out. That sauce is good. It is definitely very mustardy, creamy. But let's try the stone in its entirety without the... Mm, very fresh, cold, and sweet. Let me try another piece, actually. Bigger piece without the mustard. Just this. Mm. 
That's so sweet for seafood. It's really good. I never had a stone crab. You had stone crab before? No. Oh, we could. Oh. You had crab before? I had crab. I can't get it out. Can I just dip all this? You dip in the mustard and just eat it like that. Hmm. It's fresh. It's good. Yeah. You know, I don't actually don't think. Yeah, it is sweet. I've never had something like this. It is really good. I like it. So these stone crabs are like chicken wings. You know what I mean? You gotta get dig in, get down and dirty, and get all the meat. No matter how difficult it is, you know, gnaw on the claw. Sometimes it will leave some scraps. So I told her, if there is some meat left on her clothes, just throw it in my plate, and I'll do the the extra digging. Not afraid to slurp up the meat. And the juice is in here. The extra juice is in here. Very sweet. I'm gonna get the ones in the middle because I like it rare. Leave the ones on the side that are more. I'll leave the ones on the side that are more medium, more cooked for Leia. Well, yeah, guys. Last time I came here, like seven years ago with my dad, I remember this is one of the best steaks I've ever had. The waiter was saying that this is the top USDA prime, top three percent of steaks in America. I honestly don't know how they measure that, but all I know is Denver's world is top two and it's not two. So we can, me we can measure that for sure. So yeah, they also gave us some of their extra specialty, I think it's a coriander, garlic, salt and pepper on here, but let's try it out without it. Mm. Nice crust on the outside. Very warm and pink on the inside. Super juicy and tender. Perfectly, she, she didn't lie. She said it was already well seasoned. Unlike the SW Steakhouse. Shade, sorry, not sorry. But this steak doesn't need any extra seasoning. Very well cooked, very moist. It's just like how I remembered it. One of the best steaks I've ever had in Vegas for sure. I don't even have to take another bite. You know what? I'll, I'll try to dip it on this sauce. Use extra sauce. Delicimo. Gotta cleanse the palate with some Malbec on deck. This is quite the meal. This is a perfect meal for our anniversary. I'm gonna get some steak. I like um, getting the outer parts because they're more cooked, more medium. I'm gonna kind of put juices here. She likes her steak more about that. Yeah, more, more cooked. And I like salty stuff, so I'm gonna add the seasoning on it. I really like her steak salty. I like mine just like perfect, not too salty, not too bland. Steaks look really juicy. You can tell by the plate. There's a lot of juices on there. Mm. And it is juicy. Really good. I like it. I much prefer that they give you the option of kind of adding a little bit of seasoning salt if you want, but honestly by itself, really, really juicy, really good. I like it. Really good. So far, I'm very pleased with this place. One thing I want to touch on is the pricing. Obviously, it's like a finer dining establishment, but even then, the prices aren't too steep. This steak was about $55 for 16 ounces. I believe I went to the SW Steakhouse. The steak about the same size was like $75, and it wasn't even as good. Even this wine, it was not super steep. So it's $11 for a glass of wine. Malbec on deck, shout out AMG. So, yeah. Look at the juices on here. And look at that fattiness on it. I was gonna stop filming and just continue eating the rest of the steak, but I have to give Joe's Prime Steakhouse another round of applause. This is a really delicious, tender, fatty, juicy steak. It's everything you can look in, in a ribeye. Guys, you have to work for this seafood. You have to work for good food, figuratively and metaphorically. very tedious process but we all gonna eat guys as good as the mustard sauce is for this the Asian in me came out I actually put the salt and pepper from the steak with some of the lemon this is how I eat my seafood salt pepper lemon so good first three champagne on the house 
Soleil is not going to drink these anniversary champagne, so we can't let it go to waste. So once again, the weight has fallen on my shoulders, and I'll have to double fist these. Nah, I can't do that. I'm just going to go one at a time. Salud. Salud a mi familia. Our dinner at the Joe Seafood and Prime Steaks was a success. I'll have to give that place high praise whole overall atmosphere the pricing and the quality of the food there like i said this probably has to be my favorite place i've had in vegas so far in terms of fine dining because the price of everything wasn't extremely steep and the quality of the food just exceeded my expectations for you know the price point it was a you know definitely a pricey dinner but it's definitely well worth the price so yeah what did you think I thought it was good. Um, I'm not a, I think, I had one stone crab leg, or what is it called, stone crab? <laughs> stone crab, we had I the had, medium one. Yes, I had that. You know what, I just think I'm not a huge fan of like the cold crab leg or like cold lobster, but it wasn't bad. I can tell it was fresh, that that's what's important. It wasn't like any fishy taste or anything. And more importantly, I did really, really enjoy the steak. So it was really good, really juicy, you can tell. I'm sure um, with the clips, it's like really, more, there was a lot, a lot of um, juices in that steak. So mm -hmm. it was really good. I enjoyed everything. Yep. And the shrimp was really fresh as well. Yeah. I could tell that the seafood there is definitely what you got to get when you go there. Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely revisit and, you know, get more items. We almost got the crab bisque, but we ordered a good amount of food already. And yeah, guys. So <laughs> if you like this video, like it, comment down below where we should go next and subscribe for more food vlogs. Deuces. Deuces.